Hey everyone, I have to make a couple of video comments about Haley Barber and her really awful racist rant. And I'm gonna take what for me in Zenny 62 is the unusual step of playing what she said just to hit home, but I'm gonna make some comments as she talks because I want you to notice something, okay? This is Haley Barber. She was now a 19-year-old student at the University of Alabama. And she's obviously in a car with her uh, sorority friends. And this is what she does. Okay, excuse me. Uh, let me refresh this because it is still uh, very much active. And uh, here it is. All right. Uh, excuse me. Right there. There it is. And I've got to turn it up there. Love Alpha. Listen. I'm gonna... And now someone wants to shake my fences because I said nigger. You know what? Nigger, nigger, nigger. No, I don't no, care not. if it's Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> nigger, nigger, nigger. Why? I'm in the South now, bitch. So everyone can fuck off. I'm from New Jersey. So, I, so I can say nigger as much as I want. Nigger, nigger, nigger. And if anyone else wants to fucking snake me on my fucking fence for saying nigger. Now she's obviously best. drinking Let's here. Okay. You. If you fucking snake me to my fucking sorority, See that? that means fucking everything to me. Because fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I would love to go. Okay. Now, one thing. Let's go back and take a look at something here. Right there is actually a number of places. Right here is quite obvious she's, she's doing one thing. Drinking. And this is something that isn't talked about much at all and it's women in college and underage drinking she's 19 okay and yeah the drinking age there i believe is 18 so she's legal that's not the point it's still an activity where she's not you know experienced at you know, consuming you know liquor right first first thing second when she sobered up and realized what she did along with the action of being expelled from Alabama on top of the action of her mother saying, you know what, she deserved to get expelled because I didn't raise a racist daughter, she apologized. But it still begs the question why she did it. Part of the reason is that really you have to go to what our president, Donald Trump, has unlocked in people thinking that it's okay to say whatever's on their mind. You know, they don't want to be politically correct. This idea of not being politically correct basically throws out the notion that a person should be a lady or a gentleman, and they should do on to others as they would have others do on to them. So you, a person who does that apparently invites someone else treating them as inappropriately as they treat that person, right? You would think. Now, in their right mind, they would say, I didn't mean that, because that's what she's doing. But the problem is that we have a part of society led by a person in the White House who directly, at times, rubber stamps this. It doesn't matter that he doesn't do it all the time. He doesn't even, he has the fully appropriate of the presidency of the United States. The other problem is there are a lot of peace, white young people who don't understand that because a black rapper uses the N-word in the art that's created, it doesn't mean that black folks want to be called that or that anyone should run around using the term. That has not been appropriate, that message has not appropriately permeated through society perhaps it takes more acts like this actions like this and subsequent punishment for it to hit home but it just hasn't gotten there yet and but but also something like this happening the way that it did via social media is a good thing because then it causes a gentleman like Oakland Raiders rookie uh, DB Galen Conley uh, to respond in kind and basically tweet this. Same type of girl that would probably lie about rape or something and not get penalized. 
She's sad. And yeah, very, very sad. And he's right about that. It's, in fact, it points to what happened to Jameis Winston with um, Erica Kinsman. Erica Kinsman was also drunk and had unprotected sex twice in a day with her boyfriend and then with Jameis Winston. She had um, what, something like um, five drinks, I believe, according to the documents I read, 700 pages, over 756 pages in all. But she didn't remember what happened. And what was in her head that she couldn't access was replaced by her friends who then said, oh, you, you know, were violated. But the truth of the matter is that both she and Winston got drunk, had a consensual relationship, but Winston's mistake is he didn't call back and say, hey, I want to debrief. Let's talk about what happened. All right. He didn't do that. But I digress. Back to Haley Barber. Galen Conley is right, right on when he makes this, this, this tweet that he made about what kind of girl he thinks she might be, because that is the classic type. It really is. That could, you know, do something like in the process of not wanting to come off like the little girl, the good little girl she was raised as, do that, okay? So then there's Miss Barber and her apology. And what are we to make of it? Well, it's a good lesson for her. Everyone deserves, deserves a second chance. It is appropriate and just that it happened at this stage of her life while she's 19 rather than in the future. She's got an opportunity to remake herself, to think about her motivations, and to come out a better person in the end. And that's a wonderful place to be. So in a booyah bougie sort of way, considering her, the comments of her mother and the fact that her name is viral for the wrong set of reasons, it's a good thing. In a booyah bougie way, it's a good thing. What are your thoughts? Please subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube and bookmark Zenny62.com and my new blog, OaklandNewsOnline.com. Thank you.